Hello everybody. Uh, let's check out the 2018s. Uh, these I've actually had in a box for a year and about three months. I got these I think in beginning of January. Now well, it's still one at a time. Oh, here's two. So we got the 2018 uh, Rwanda coins. I like these, as I keep saying, I like the wildlife coins. Uh, 2018 was giraffes. These are always cool. These have a lot more uh, interesting textures than a lot of coins. They mix it up a little. Made really well. They come in the mint sheets like this. There are two of them and they came attached, so that's kind of neat. They don't fit in my albums, though, because I don't take them out of the sheets. I don't want to waste the... Uh, you know, I don't want to, like, take them out of the mint sheet. Uh, Atmax, another order from Atmax. Uh, so, here is the African Elephant. Very cool. Design that changes every year. So, they got new artwork. I keep collecting those. They do tend to go up in value. Uh, we got the Maple Leaf, of course. These look the same every year. Nothing real, uh... Super exciting about that, one of the highest purity silver coins. <clears throat> now with the radial cuts, that's the only real change in this little privy, which is like a security feature, I think. The queens on the back. I think I got more on this one. Um, oh, another, uh, another elephant. Oh, hey, it's a monster hunk of gold here, right? Uh, it's a, it's an elephant. I don't know how close this will focus. One uh, twenty-fifth of an ounce. Gold's denser than uh, silver, so the one ounce is smaller, substantially smaller than the silver, but still, you can see there, it's it's uh, a fair bit smaller than a dime. <clears throat> The dimes, uh, or the, the tenth ounce, tends to look like a, about a dime. But anyway, that's the tiny gold piece there. Uh, of course, the Silver Eagle, 2018. Collection wouldn't be complete without it. <clears throat> we got the Panda, China, 2018. Flip this around in here. Artwork changes every year. They look cool. It just annoys me that uh, China shorten you a, a troy ounce with only 30 grams. They're like, we're going to shave off tenth of a gram and change just just for the heck of it. And they're like the only ones. Everybody else is doing a troy ounce. It's kind of the standard. China goes, yeah, we're going to short you a little bit. Stupid, but I still collect them. Oh, <clears throat> another panda. I got doubles this year. Flip it around so we can see it. Yeah, what else we got in here? Oh, man, there it is. Check this monster out. That is a, that is a one gram... Panda, it's so tiny. I don't know how I don't know how close this will focus. We're about right there, I think. One gram. I just wanted to see what a one gram coin looked like. You can't order one gram from most, uh, you know, like you can't order a one gram American buffalo or eagle or anything like that. So it's compared to the twenty fifth ounce. It's even way tinier than that, but kind of neat. This one came in the mint sheet too, so in the mint sheet it'll stay. But that's the tiniest coin I've ever got. I don't have any other one gram pieces, bars, or anything, so. Anyway, that's it. That's the 2018 hauls. Um, uh, I gotta order the 2019s before they're sold out, because I gotta make sure I can get uh, these Rwanda coins in silver and, uh, you know, before they're gone. They. They sell out and they're gone. Um, 
Same thing with the uh, elephants. The elephants usually they take a year or so to sell out, but anyway, thanks for watching. Happy uh, collecting, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take her easy.